Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. In this video, we're gonna head down to the lake and we're gonna test out the new Heater Series swim bait Special swim bait Rods. I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions, make a few casts on camera, and just check out what we think about the rods for the first time together. But also, as you guys can tell from the thumbnail, it's an exciting day because I just got a new toy for here on the channel here at the house and something that's gonna enable us to rip down to the water on a whim a little bit easier. Uh, when we don't feel like taking the boat, we just wanna go down and do some fishing, check it out. Just picked up this new vehicle. It's behind the camera right now. I'm about to show it to you guys and I'm extremely excited to have another one of these. We had one of these before back on the channel a long time ago, I ended up selling it. But this one right here is a little bit cooler. Check it out. This our new golf cart. As you guys can see, it's pretty cool. It's got a new body kit, lifted, all updated and upgraded. It's a little bit of an older cart, but it is modernized, ready to rip, runs great. We've uh, already been out riding around with the boys on it, and I'm excited to have this. Just another cool toy, something we can do something fun with here on the channel. And like I said, head down to the water and do fishing on a whim when we don't feel like take an old June bug here out. So there's the big reveal, nothing too major, but we do have a new golf cart and I'm excited, man. We live here in a small little lakeside village and everybody here has a golf cart. So it's cool to go ride around the neighborhood and just cruise through the village and take a ride on the cart every once in a while. I've been wanting another one of these for a while and I'm excited to finally get another one. And this one's, this one's done upright. The last one I had was a beater, but this one is pretty freaking cool. So I'm stoked on that. But like I said, I think the plan for the rest of this video is gonna be to go down to the water and test out these new swim bait specials. If you guys didn't watch my last video, I went over the entire heater series rod lineup. And we also announced the release of the heater series swim bait special swim bait rod seven, eight extra heavy, but I have not yet had a chance to go out and fish with these things. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to throw these suckers in the cart. We're going to head down to the water and we're going to make some casts. If everything goes perfect, we'll catch a fish, but I'm not holding my breath on that. Like I said, I just want to get my first impressions, make some casts with the rods, see how they feel, see how they handle the big baits. I got a trace and a draw tied on and we'll just go from there, man. I might grab a couple other baits to uh, tie on and try as well, but I'm just looking forward to getting down to the water and making some casts with these things. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and rip off down there now. We'll take a little ride on the cart and then we'll check out these Heater Series Swim Bait Special 7-8 Extra Heavy Fishing Rods. Check it out. Built-in rod holder. Not really, but that'll work just fine. I've already been riding around with the dogs. They got their hair all in it already. But well, she's cool, man. She's cool, she's clean. One thing before we take off, I need your guys' help with something. I need you to help me come up with a name for the cart. I have one in mind that I think is pretty cool and kind of funny, but I wanna hear what you guys think. As you can see, black and blue matches Junebug, but I need to know what you guys think we should name the cart. So go down in the comment section, drop your name suggestions, and whoever has the coolest name, if I end up using your name, I will grab a little bait off the tackle wall and send you a free heater. Let me know what you guys think we should name the cart. All right, guys, we're switched over to the GoPro now. I got the rods loaded up. I also couldn't help but grab a little 6.9 medium moderate heater just in case we want to try to catch a fish while we're down there. I also grabbed a soft plastic paddle tail swim bait so that we could try out a soft bait on the heater series swim bait special but let's go ahead rip off on the new cart head down to the water and put these heater series rods the newest heater series rods to the test let's rip Thank you. 
to remember the old golf cart, the first one. That was way back on the channel when we first started fishing. Started my channel in 2014, converted it over to a fishing channel about five years ago. I don't know, it's been a while now. You guys let me know if you remember the first cart. It wasn't as nice as this one. We're down here at the water. I'm gonna grab the rods, make some casts, and just give you guys my first impressions on uh, how the swim bait heaters feel. But let me know what you think we should name the cart, man. I'm stoked and uh, yeah, just excited to have something else cool to do here with you guys in the videos. We can use this bad boy to go fishing on the whim, do some more bank beater heater series content. I know you guys like the bank beater heater series videos. Let's go ahead, grab the rods, make some casts, and we'll see how these swim bait heaters do, man. I'm gonna throw the chest rig on. I got a new GoPro on the chest. Funny story, the other one had a battery like get too hot and it swelled up inside of there and I was trying to get it out. It like ruptured and I had to throw my old GoPro away. I also cracked the screen back at OHIV with Brett. Don't know how that happened, but uh, yeah. Brand new GoPro on the chest, coming in hot. I actually have it right here. Throw this bad boy on. Uh, hopefully the audio's good. Just got this thing set up. But let's get to making some casts with these heater series seven foot eight inch extra heavy fast action swim bait specials all right guys we're strapped up strapped in i think i'm gonna start out with the trace see how that works out feels good loads up nicely with the bait just swinging down there oh yeah dude you can freaking send a swim bait with this thing oh my gosh got all the way down to my backing <laughs> how cool would it be if this thing got smashed first impressions on the rods when i got them in the garage if you watched my last video you may have heard me touch on this but uh they're light and they're well balanced Dude, we've got some bait running from this trace light and well balanced first impressions with the trace my lord it casts so well with this bait like it it loads up and sails this little less than two ounces it's like this baits around two ounces the rod is rated for baits uh from three quarters of an ounce to five ounces so you can get up you know in that heavier range with this rod but man the trace you guys know that i like to throw my trace on the sensory 77 heavy fast rod but i can already tell you right now this is this has replaced it immediate replacement this feels so nice with this trace dialed i was worried i'm gonna be honest with you guys a little candid here i was worried that the trace was going to be too light for this heavier swim bait rod it is not i feel like the handle the butt length is a perfect perfect length it's not too long but it's also not super short so you can really get control over your cast dude stoked on how this is running and working and casting and feeling oh, with the trace on the end of it this is a fast sink so this is the heaviest trace there's not going to be too much of a difference between this and the slow sink or the floater so if you guys are looking for a rod for the trace whoo all i gotta do is catch a fish on this sucker now and i'll be able to tell you with 100 percent confidence that this is the way you need to go the heater series swim bait special paired up with the trace from six cents fishing one word oh as i bang my bait off the ground one word money it's money it's cash money one word cash money it just sails dude i could i could probably spool the reel honestly if i if i wound up and made a hard cast and tried to get as much distance as possible i could probably spool this reel out right now look at all the bait running from this oh no I will go into the lake and get that back. I smacked into a little tree root there and almost got snagged. I will 
walk out into the water and get this freaking bait back. Dude. All right, first impressions, trace, money. It's dialed. Oh, look at all the little uh, bluegill that were running from the trace just then. That was cool. Yes, it's a yes on the trace. Look at that. Got down to my, my uh, backing again. You can hear my connection knot. Connection knot goes right through the, uh, the guides, no issue. So you guys that like to fish with a braid to leader, good to go on the heater series swim bait special. Casting accuracy on point, loads up very well. Like I said, all I need to do now is catch a fish. But check out the freaking golf cart sitting on the boat ramp over there looking, sitting pretty. Oh, I'm gonna bleep that out so you guys don't hear the name that I have in mind, but that's sitting over there on the boat ramp, just chilling, watching me fish. We're gonna make a couple more casts with this trace. Send it out there like a freaking intercontinental ballistic missile. And then we're gonna go up there and grab that draw and see how it does with a heavier bait. Four plus ounces. But the trace and the heater series swim bait special, freaking match made in heaven, dude. Like I said, I was a little worried because I like my rod to load up and uh, not be so stout when I'm throwing the trace. Dude, you will see me throwing this bait on this rod. That is freaking dialed. Man, it's so light, so light. And uh, I feel like the length is perfect, man. Seven foot, eight inches. Let's grab a draw, big glide bait. These rods fit down perfectly into the golf cart too. I like that. So the draw is a big glide bait. I got it on a Corrado 300 here. This is like a big bait setup, you know, 25 pound fluoro, four plus ounce bait, big beefy reel. Let's make our first cast with the draw on the heater series swim bait special. It flew just as far as the trace did. Absolute money. Oh, it's light. It's light, which is gonna make it really easy to give these twitches for these glide baits, guys. I should have brought a Chad with me or a little flow glider. I almost grabbed one, but guess what? Super easy to run back to the crib and grab one because we got the cart. We got now. Man, look at that draw just darting around back there. That looks good. Loads up nicely with the heavier bait as well. How cool would it be if a bass just came up and smashed this thing? I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, oh no, I just bumped the, oh look there, I did, I just got, look, there was a little, a little young buck just grabbed it. I just got popped, guys. That bass just grabbed a hold of the, of the huge draw. That bass was smaller than my bait and he just popped at it. That was cool. They weren't interested in the trace. Everything was running from the trace, but I swear I'm getting I'm getting nipped at down there by little fish on this draw. That is crazy. Let's go over here. Man, how cool would it be? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys. I love this bait. I've seen the homies smash with this bait. I've seen some really awesome fish catches on the draw, but I'm gonna be totally honest and transparent with you guys. I have never caught a fish on this bait. Never once have I caught a fish on the draw. Fish it a lot. You guys ask me sometimes why I don't throw it. I do. I've just yet to get a catch on it. But man, how cool would it be if while we were down here testing this heater series, if we got a fish to eat this and we were able to hook up, that would be insane. A bunch of grass right here. Healthy grass too. The water's come up here recently. I wanna get out on the dock, but I don't wanna get my shoes wet. I got some, my new shoes. Can we make the leap? I also gotta keep my eye on the car in case a boat shows up wanting to launch so I can move it quickly. Let's uh, make a cast over here off the edge of this little drop off. Man, it would be so cool to get bit on this thing right here. We did get bit, but it would be so cool to get bit by a bigger fish. But as far as how the rod feels, it's great. It feels great, dudes. The action on the draw is awesome. Loads up and casts money. We'll go out on the other dock. There's another dock over here. We'll go, we'll go stand out on the end of this one. So my, my bait, is digging into the to the shallow ground as I get closer to the shoreline and I don't want to lose it. So we'll walk out here, a little bit deeper access, make a couple casts. The Heater Series Swim Bay Special is freaking dialed for this draw and the trace, which is crazy. You guys heard me in that previous video talking about the versatility 
that we've built into these heater series rods. And this right here is a testament to that. Because man, to be able to go from comfortably throwing a trace to throwing a draw, which are two drastically different baits in form and weight, is just awesome. Freaking heater series swim bait special. I hate to toot our horns, to toot our own horns here, dudes, but we killed it again with this one. Freaking loads up and bombs a big bait. First impressions, psh, money, stupid dialed. You guys are gonna love these rods. Shout out to everybody that's already got one. The heater army already scooped. Some of you guys in the heater army already know what's up with this rod. This is my first time. You guys are witnessing it live and direct and full effect via YouTube. First impressions going down right now. I'm digging it. Awesome. Just awesome. Trace, check, draw, check. But let's go grab a bait that isn't made by Six Cents and pair it up with this thing. See how it feels, how it casts. I got that 316 Rising Sun soft swim bait. I want to try that out on the swim bait special too because if we're, if we're going to talk about versatility, let's talk about versatility. Let's see how versatile this rod actually is. Big bait season is upon us, boys. So if you're considering picking up a new swim bait rod for the fall time, check out this heater series. SixCentsFishing.com, JR10 will save you $15 off of each rod. That's a good little chunk of savings. I'm gonna cut this trace off. Blasphemy. I'm gonna tie on this 316 just to see. If you guys like throwing soft swim baits, stay tuned because word on the street is, word behind the scenes is, Six Cents has something coming in that uh, category. That's what I heard anyway, I don't know. You may have seen it already. If you're a subscriber to my Instagram, you've definitely seen it. And some other people have leaked it as well, briefly. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. Let's go out there and throw this freaking rising sun around, see how she does with a soft bait. Maybe we'll catch a fish. That would be cool. San Diego Jam is going to be the knot here, guys. That's the knot I use for 99.10% of everything. How many wraps do you do on your when you're doing a, a knot that requires a like wrapping? Whether it's an improved clinch knot or San Diego Jam or whatever you tie. How many wraps do you do? Some people do six, seven, five. I do eight. Because back in the day, I was a Cowboys fan. I always say eight for Troy Aikman, man. I don't watch football anymore, really, but... Back in the day, I sure did. When I was a kid, and my dad told me, you can do six wraps, seven. I was like, I'm gonna do eight for Troy Aikman, and that's just stuck with me. Eight's always been my favorite number as well. All right, we got this Rising Sun tied on to the Heater Series Swim Bait Special. Let's go throw it around. Feels good. I can tell already, it feels good. I'm not sure the weight on these, somewhere around three ounces, I think. Two and a half, three ounces. Freaking sailed. I'm just gonna slow roll this thing back to the ramp. Hopefully a 10 pounder comes up and freaking smokes it. Would love to get the first fish on the swim bait special while we're down here doing this, but that's not the intent of this video. I just wanna get a feel for the action, a feel for how they cast, load up, how they run with these different baits on there. And I feel like uh, so far, so good. Oh, that bait looks good too. Just bumping into the bottom. Bottom line is I don't think there are any fish over here right now. A bunch of bait. Oh no. Woo! Like I said, it gets shallow up here and I almost got snagged right there. I don't feel like walking out into the lake. I would have to take my shoes off and zebra mussels are a freaking thing. So let's be careful there. One thing you can do to prevent that is keep your rod tip up a little higher once it starts getting into that shallow water. I know you guys already know that, but I'm sort of saying it out loud to remind myself. But Main thing is, does this heater series feel good with this soft swim bait? Does it load up well enough to throw these softer baits, these treble hook baits? Yes. And like I said, oh look, I got some followers, little, little followers running behind it. Like I said, a moment earlier, I feel like the length is perfect. Seven foot, eight inches. You know, sometimes those longer, Swim bait rods can be a little tough to, to carry. They take up a lot of room on the deck of the boat. They end up overhanging on the back. And a 7.8 is like 
long enough to, to do the big bait stuff, but still short enough to conveniently carry places. Like they're not dangling out the back of the freaking golf cart. So I like that. And they're not gonna take up quite as much room on the deck of my boat. I also like that. So all good things here. Look, look, oh, two followers. Two little followers right there. Let's get out behind them. How cool would it be if one of those little guys freaking suck the swim bait in they're too small to eat it but it's cool to watch them follow it up to the shoreline they're interested i just need a tank to come up and freaking wonder wharf this thing those little guys just thought they found a friend but there's three baits tested with this swim bait heater series swim bait special and man i am stoked so far extremely satisfied with the way this rod feels how light it is how it loads up on the cast, how it worked with the draw, was giving it some rod twitches, felt good. Like I said, it's a little bit shorter, so it's a little easier to do that. You guys let me know what you think. Do you think we did it right with the Heater Series Swim Bait Rod, especially those of you out there who have one? If you get one, let me know. Send me a picture on the gram so I can give you a shout out. And when you get out there fishing with this thing, tell me what you think of it. I really wanna know your honest feedback. But honestly, right now, me, and this little trip, this little short bank beater heater segment, testing out the Swim Bay Special Heater Series. Dude, I am happy. So happy, man. I love my Heater Series rods. But yeah, successful test. You know, the, the mission was not exactly to, to catch fish. It was to put these Swim Bay Special Heater Series rods to the test for the first time. And get our first impressions, see how they casted and uh, functioned with a few different baits. We'll uh, probably save the, the Chad Shad test for another video. I'm confident it will work. If it'll work with the draw, it'll work with the Chad Shad. So probably just uh, call it for now, head back to the house, hop on the cart, take another little ride around the streets, and then uh, we'll finish this video up from around the house. Hope you guys enjoyed this little bank beater heater segment testing out these swim bait special heater series rods brand new from six cents and i'm so excited proud and honored to be able to bring these to you guys to the masses man check them out if you haven't already not only do they look awesome but they feel awesome too all right guys we're back here at the house in the garage now and what more is there really to say? You guys saw my reaction as I was down there throwing the rods for the first time. That is really the first time that I ever had a chance to make a cast with the Heater Series Swim Bay Specials. And man, I'm gonna keep it real with you right now. It's better than I was expecting. I was worried about a couple things. One, the length, and two, the extra heavy power with lighter baits like the Trace. I didn't know if it was gonna be overkill. Um, I've got some other extra heavy rods and I don't really like throwing the trace on them. That's just the honest truth. But for whatever reason, the heater series, the way they have the length and the action dialed in on these rods, the way they load up, the way they feel with both the heavier baits and the lighter swim baits, it was just incredible. I'm absolutely blown away. I'm so happy with the results that I got out of that test. This rod feels so nice, so light and so well balanced and I could freaking sail these baits out there a clear country mile i was almost spooling my 200 and the 300 was bombing them out there to the middle of the lake the draw the trace the rising sun from 316 i have no doubt that the chad is going to do great on it you guys know i love throwing a glide bait i'll probably even tie that flow glider 130 on there just to try that out even though that is a lighter swim bait i feel like this rod like we mentioned a couple times here on the channel recently versatility it's versatile enough to handle these baits to handle a plethora of baits a variety of baits and i could not be happier with the results i got with the experience that i felt down there by the water for the first time using this heater series rod massive shout outs to six cents fishing for helping me develop this bad boy and create it bring it into reality they absolutely killed it i'm extremely impressed I feel like we outdid ourselves with this one. Just like with the rest of the Heater Series rods, you will see me fishing this rod a lot. This will be on the deck of my boat 
straight up, hands down. I have super high dollar USA Custom Series, hand built, handmade, high end, top tier rods over here. And I can say, just truthfully, guys, I'm even more excited about the heater series. One thing about this series is that it's accessible. You know, it's not a super high end, high price rod. So more people are gonna have access to it. 150 bucks, that's the price on the heater series. Everything from the 6'9 all the way up to the seven foot, eight inch extra heavy swim bait rod. 150 bucks, guys. And if you use my code JR10, it's gonna knock $15 off that. 135 bucks for the rods that you see me use every day, all the time in my videos. They're tested, they're proven. If you wanna learn more about the heater series, I encourage you to go watch one video back here on the channel where I broke down the entire lineup, top to bottom, told you guys everything that I could think of to tell you about these rods, what baits I use each one for. I went through a lot of stuff in that video and there's a lot of information that I feel you guys will benefit from. So go check it out if you haven't seen that video already. Also wanna say thank you for the engagement here lately. The channel is growing fast. And I'm extremely excited to have so many new faces here on the channel. If you're new around here, welcome. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed, just click that button real quick. You know, help us grow this beast. We're trying to grow this dragon egg into a full blown fire breather. And I feel like the swim base special in the heater series is just the next step in the evolution. We have a lot of new stuff coming, a lot of exciting things that are happening behind the scenes as always that I can't wait to share with you guys in the future. I would love for you all to be a part of it. So make sure you're subscribed if you're watching right now and you're not, kick those notifications on and uh, YouTube will maybe let you know when I actually upload a new video, which I do all the time. Once again, shout out to Six Sense Fishing. Even if you're not looking for a rod, you wanna check out some of these awesome baits that you see behind me on the tackle wall. You wanna take a look at the draw or the trace swim baits. Some more economically priced swim baits that are out there on the market that are just as good as some of the high end baits out there that cost two, three, four, upwards of $500. And a lot of times you can't even get your hands on them. Six Sense Fishing has you covered with the trace, the draw, the flow glider, and the sweep. Four different swim bait options available through Six Sense, as well as the Heater Series swim bait special. So check it out, SixSenseFishing.com, JR10 for the win. That's the code to help you secure the heaters and save the bread. And as always, anyone who uses that code gets a shout out on my Instagram. So just take a little screenshot of the order confirmation, DM it to me, and I will post it up, tag your account, give you a shout out. It's just a way for me to say thank you and give you some public recognition for helping us keep this whole thing running. Man, I'm excited. It's a very exciting time. We got the freaking cart now, boys. Bank Beater Heater Series Engage. We will be down there beating the banks, fishing from the shore, like I know a lot of you guys like to do yourselves. And we got the cart to make it that much easier. We don't have to load up the truck. If we don't feel like launching the boat, we'll just throw some rods in the cart, bebop down to the lake, make us some casts, and hopefully, We'll be smashing dragons on these swim bay heaters very soon. Best believe I will have them on deck. So make sure you're subscribed and stick around for that content. It's coming, but I've got some other fishing videos that are coming really soon. Spoiler alert, I've been linking up with a couple dragons here lately. I've caught some really nice fish and I can't wait to share this stuff with you guys and show you the footage that's coming very soon. And man, I'm just so grateful, so extremely grateful to have this awesome line of fishing rods, to have the new cart, to have the support of all you guys and my amazing heater family, the heater freaking family, man. We continue to grow with every video and it's awesome to see. One more group that I have to give a huge thank you and shout out to is the Heater Army overwhelming love and support from the heater army if you guys didn't know i do a live premiere of every video that i ever post on youtube most of the time at 8 p.m central standard time all throughout the week and let me tell you guys it is one of the most fun things that we do here on the channel the heater army always shows up in full force we do a live chat we watch the video together it's always amazing positive uplifting and loving conversation and I just absolutely love doing the premieres and interacting with all you guys and the Heater Army is a big part of that. I wanna thank them for their support. Also, if you guys watch all the way to the end of my videos, you see those names scroll, all those names are Heater Army members and that absolutely blows me away. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your support of the channel. I could not do this without you guys. The JR10 Army, the Heater Army, and all of you guys out there that are just watching along, 
Best believe it means the absolute world to me. I will never stop saying it because I am eternally grateful. You guys have literally changed my life and we would not get to do the awesome things that we get to do around here without you. Also, if you guys watched my recent six sack unboxing video, I told you guys that we were gonna be giving away an Axis Square Bill Crankbait to the person who left the best comment and I fully intend on doing that right now. It's been a busy time around here and I just had to find the time to sit down and read through all your comments and pick a winner, but I'm happy to announce that I have done that. Congratulations to this person right here on the screen. Hit me up with that shipping info and I will get your free Axis Square Bill Crankbait sent out to you right now and thank you to everybody who left a comment on that video. No worries if you didn't win, I will continue to do stuff like this in the future, but just a quick reminder, for every giveaway, winners are always announced on camera, not in the comments. There are a lot of scams that can go on on YouTube, people trying to trick you into thinking that I'm contacting you, telling you when you won. This is how I do it right here on video, on camera, every time. Congratulations to the winner, but be smart out there, guys. Be careful. Make sure you go down in the comments and drop me a name suggestion for the new cart. It's blue, it's black. I've got one in mind that I let slip out a couple times during this video. I'm gonna bleep that out. I'm interested in hearing your names for the cart. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, if I happen to pick your name, I will snag a select heater off the tackle wall and send it to you for absolutely free. So make sure you drop me a comment and let me know those name suggestions. I need your guys' help. I wanna hear what you got when it comes to the cart. Much love, I appreciate you all more than you will ever know, but that's about all I got for you today, man. That about does it. That about wraps her on up for this here Heater Series Swim Bait Special Test Video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying getting back into the full swing of shooting, editing, and making these videos for you guys. I love interacting with you all, but that's about all I got for you today, man. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but I will see you on the next one.